We're on the Ericsson campus here in Plano, Texas, testing multi-user MIMO. To give you a little background, we reached out to Ericsson and a number of their peers several months ago to do a benchmark study. Ericsson came forward and said they have both the technical capability as well as the willingness to support us. So what we're doing here, you can see right behind me there, that's the G Node B supporting up to 16 layers of multi-user MIMO. And over there to my left, we have an interfering cell as well as the LTE anchor cell. So starting off on day one, we set up more of an optimal solution to really see how much throughput we can get on that site. The answer is 5.4 gigabits per second with all 16 layers of multi-user MIMO. To put things into perspective, that's actually 54 bits per hertz per second. If you can see, the Ericsson building is a little over a kilometer away from where we were testing uh, from their headquarters where they have uh, an experimental uh, 5G site. Um, we're in non-standalone mode and uh, there's also an LTE site and band 66 and we're in uh, band 78, 3.5 gigs. So in the mid band or C band, a lot of people are excited about that. So that's what we have here, some high gain antennas testing a fixed uh, wireless application. One of the things that we did is we were testing max throughput on the system. And so really impressive what we were able to do with um, the different um, MU MIMO pairings. We were able to get uh, eight devices uh, paired at 16 layers. And we saw over 54 bits per second per hertz. That's 5.4 gig in 100 megahertz of spectrum on SA 5G only. That might be the fastest data rates anywhere anyone's ever seen in a real world setting. So I'm very impressed with what we were able to do with max throughput and just working with Ericsson. And now we're taking data farther away. We were closer up to the site, obviously, to get those faster data throughputs. Now we want to see what it looks like in a neighborhood, a residential setting. Um, we got cars out here, horses in the background. So we kind of have suburban, urban, and rural settings uh, all at once. So. We're really happy with uh, the performance that we're getting and we're able to uh, log this. We have a site here. There's another one on a vehicle um, about 100 feet down and then down the road um, about 1,000 feet away. Uh, we have uh, two other uh, devices just like this that are logging data. So we're able to see how they uh, perform and coordinate with each other, what the uh, data analytics are and KPIs for each device and um, we're able then to uh, analyze that data later and see what the performance is, see what can be fixed in the system, see uh, how things are working, how they're not working, and uh, a better way to perhaps deploy the network. So we're really pleased with the MU MIMO performance, pretty impressive uh, from Ericsson. They've been great partners in uh, all of this. To put things into perspective, you have basically four layers of single user MIMO today. That's now going to 16 layers. In theory, that's a 4X increase of capacity. So for a mobile operator offering fixed, offering mobile services, by increasing the sector capacity in their network, it both makes it more economical for them, as well as to the consumer, it delivers a higher data rate.